So we're still talking about the philosopher Socrates, and we're going to understand the statement, quote, the life which is unexamined is not worth living, end of quote. And to understand this statement, you need to understand the four premises. And here's a question. What are the four premises? It's a good question. And I'm going to explain this. But let's first contemplate a huge irony. Because the philosopher Socrates is considered, in the Western context, one of the founders. But despite this, Socrates had no school or no writings to his name. This perhaps was not unsurprising because of the time period. And Plato, the philosopher Plato, documented Socrates' ideas. So here's another question. Would we know who Socrates was if Plato did not play the role of documentation? Here's a metaphor. Socrates built the car, Plato drove it, and we witnessed the journey. This has led to some people questioning the historical Socrates and the Socratic problem is that we don't know Socrates because our interpretations are based on perceptions from other people. But let's get back to the question and explore the four premises of the quote, the life which is unexamined is not worth living, end of quote. So to live a good life, there's two premises. The first premise, is you need to understand what is good and then the second premise is that you need to understand what is evil so there's two clear distinctions there and then the third premise is the following you need to understand that knowledge and morality have a relationship and this leads to the fourth premise and that is ignorance has a connection with a lack of morality and when you combine these four premises together this leads to the quote, the life which is unexamined is not worth living, end of quote. To put another way, there is one good, which is knowledge, and there is one evil, which is ignorance. So, in the Socratic perspective, the unconscious incompetence becomes evil. So here's two questions. If we all know nothing, does that mean we are all evil? Or if we know that we know nothing, does that mean we are all good? These are interesting philosophical questions to ponder.